Tama kong DIY yan, no? I know, I saw that! That was pretty cool! <laughs> Shit, man, the, instead of buying it for like 10 grand, 13 grand. Good morning fam, it's about 5.30 in the morning and uh, we're about to drop off my, or drop off our knees to Parola, which is the port, the boat port for Guimaras because she is graduating for her masters today and uh, it's, the school is in Guimaras so uh, we're just gonna drop her off um, and then they could stay uh, overnight here again so she was here overnight but anyways today is gonna be busy again uh, I'm not sure quite yet what we're gonna find out here in the video but um, uh, I know for sure last night we have a couple customers that already called us that they needed water for the morning so um, Lejun is going to site B to get some um, containers for them um, for their Damn, there's a lot of mosquitoes um, for their water uh, early in the morning and um, our friend Pam um, is in Europe on vacation she just uh, called us or messaged us that <laughs> her um, her house over there in Pavia needs water so we dropped off a couple containers last night and uh, we're picking up uh, we picked up the empty containers so we could uh, fill it up and uh, bring that this morning too. Yep, even in Europe we get orders for the houses over here. Alright, let's go. Alright fam, so we just got back from SNR. We bought um, some pork to grill and um, yeah, we discovered this soap store across where we bought the feeds and they're so much cheaper and they have these soaps in like a drum so they they sell it per liter or something like that or per ounces so um, compared to buying it at a supplier um, the our supplier that supplies us with the what do you call this with the water container this is by the way soap for the tubigan which is uh, unscented soap because you don't want soap taste <laughs> on your on your water um, and scent as well so but anyway so we went to SNR and I saw this sandwich it costs like it costs 139 pesos I'm gonna see a uh, kind of like do a mini review and see how it tastes how it looks you know see in uh, how they um, kind of do the presentation. It looks like half <laughs> slice, and then you know how like you put the what do you put in the sandwich, like the chicken or the ham and stuff like that, and it's just hanging off the bread, so it looks like there's a lot. So I'm gonna check it out. It's rotisserie and ham. Rotisserie chicken and ham. It looks like this is like a that looks like the mini French bread. Let's see. Yo, it's only like half slice. Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like right there. So one slice of cheese, they cut it up. And you notice the ham, they one slice of ham, they cut it up as well. And then just a little bit of that rotisserie chicken. They let it hang out so it looks like there's a lot. Like right there. Mm. 
it's not bad. It's herby. No vegetables. Straight up mayo. Chicken, ham, and cheese. Try it. Mm. Okay. How is it? Sweet. It's not worth 139 pesos. No. I'm sorry, I don't like it's it. Not good. It's worth 139 pesos. No. Mm, 60 pesos to make this. Because I know this is the probably the rotisserie chicken they can sell. Oh, they make it in oh, that's Yeah, it's rotisserie good. chicken. And then there's like a ham slice right there. I like the I bread. Know the bread's pretty good. I don't like cheese. Yeah, it's a mayo. There's too much mayo, I think. Yeah. If you guys have tried this in SNR, let me know in the comment below. What do you guys think? All right, what up, fam? So I'm off to by myself. I'm off to uh, meet with my fraternity brothers. We have a meeting at one of the subdivisions it's uh, i think it's called savannah glen um he has a food truck over there and uh i'll show you guys a food truck so it's another idea that um he actually uh, mentioned to me um and it's also a good idea because uh you know low um overhead expenses with that just the food truck uh it's you know, it's good for like side business and stuff. So, uh, let's go check that out. I know, I saw that. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Shit, man. Instead of buying it for like 10 grand, 13 grand. Sale ka lang, baka ka lang sing sale. Yeah. Maybe in choppy. So we are here at Savannah Glen Clubhouse. We are checking out my friend's uh, food truck, which is the Blue Kitchen. So they serve nachos. They have great burgers, not the sweets, <laughs> not the sweet kind of again. Um, like pretty much just like your regular American burgers. And um, they have like different ones, uh, the smoky barbecue, and they have the, uh, what do you call this? The, uh, tropical which is the one with the pineapple and all that so we're gonna order some nachos and burgers in a little bit so check it out huh? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we're gonna order burgers, nachos. Classic apple classic. What's in the classic? I don't know. I don't know. Classic. Classic. Regular little burger. Classic na siya yung burger. Pati ang guwan niya bala niyan. Ano na siya yung smoky na yung may barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. Tropic melt may pineapple. Pineapple. Classic mag show burger. So, amigo, nga mo nang yun, ano mo, yun, pili mo nga business, burgers. Ah, uh, ano burgers? 
Huh? Isang gamay pa kuya daan, may maka burger ni kuya. Uh, ang first ko ginya, isang burger, isang Roberto's. Robert? Burgers? Robert, yeah. Ang exposure ko ginya sa burgers. Roberto's? Ang Roberto's ko, yeah. Sa una, yeah. sa nagasimba kami every, every Sunday sa San, San Jose pala. You would think so, pao ila da? Yeah, may burgers na sila. Really? Yeah, burgers na sila. <laughs> no. Ang burgers ang una, nga ano ko, ang Glors. Kag, That's not uh, us later, during high school. Na, pro, ah, growing up, okay. Growing up. Roberto's may Roberto's aragali. Mayara, oh, I didn't know that. Kina look forward ko na after so na sa Misa, sa Rome sa San Jose. Mm -hmm. Kaya si Lolo po, tumi kay Lola ko, simba, para lang mga kaon burgers. <laughs> so na, uh, sa ano glors o ko nang wiwin sa una ah wiwin was during high school yeah same with glors yung mga burger sa sa culture sang pinoy ilonggo eh really <laughs> wait kali mo notice oh oh mga ilonggo these are all handmade ha hindi niya nga gin bakal mga pre-made nga patties ginobra gid ya that's good Good morning fam, it's the next day. So it was a productive meeting <clears throat> yesterday with my uh, my brothers in the fraternity. Uh, we are having a meeting about the event that we're gonna do in Miyagao, UP. It's giving back to our alma mater right there. Um, so huge events coming up. And we also checked out my friend's uh, blue, blue truck, <laughs> the, uh, the blue kitchen. It's a food truck that serves burgers, coffee, nachos, and stuff like that. So, um, really good burgers too. Uh, not your typical uh, sweet burgers that, like, you know, um, other establishments or restaurants, uh, uh, what do you call this, uh, serve over here. So, uh, like he said, he's been a burger fanatic or fan. Um, since he was a little kid, that's why that's the uh, the business that he got into. A very hard worker. So shout out to Migo Julix Mendoza. Uh, he owns and his wife. He owns that food truck. Uh, he hustles. So he has another event that he will be there at. If you're here in Iloilo, it's the end of April, I believe, on Sunset Boulevard. So. Uh, I'll let you guys know so you guys can check them out too. So anyways, that's it for our video for today And thank you for subscribing. We'll see you guys in the next